Hello everyone, myself Dr. Surya and in this presentation I will be discussing the previously asked Kerala University of Health Science prosthodontics question paper. The purpose of this presentation is to make the exam going students aware of what all to include under each question. So I have divided the question paper discussion into six sections and two sections each for CD, FPD and RPD. So here we go to the first section of the complete denture series. So let's get started. First is the long essay. First question, define balanced occlusion in complete denture. Discuss the significance and factors affecting balanced occlusion. So for this you have to refer chapter 8 occlusion in Drangarajan page number 146. So the contents you have to first define what is balanced occlusion. Then you have to write about the significance or the importance of balanced occlusion. So there are five points that has been enlisted in Rangarajan. And then you have to write about the Hano squint. Uh, under Hano squint there are five factors. First is the condylar guidance. So under condylar guidance you have to first give the definition and then write two to three points about it. Then second factor is the incisal guidance give the definition for incisal guidance and then write two to three points about it then the third factor is the orientation of occlusal plane fourth one is the compensative curve uh, under compensative curve again it is divided into two anteroposterior curve and mediolateral curve under anteroposterior curve you have to write about the curve of speed whereas under the mediolateral curve you have to write about the curve of speed a uh, curve of wilson curve of monsoon, anti-monsoon curve and pleasure curve. Then the last factor is the cuspal inclination. Here you have to give a definition for cuspal inclination and then add uh, at least two to three points about it. And you have to draw the Hano squint diagram. Moving on to the next question, define articulator in prosthodontics, classify articulators, explain the requirements and uses of articulators in prosthodontics. For this, you have to refer chapter 7, Articulator in Rangarajan, page number 133. The contents in, to be included is, first the definition of articulator, then the functions, then about the advantages and disadvantages, and then the classification. There are three classifications given in the textbook. First is based on the adjustability. Second is based on the position of condylar elements. And then third is based on the instrument function. There are four, class, four classes given uh, uh, based on the instrument function. All those four has to be mentioned. Then under the requirements, you have to write about two requirements. That is the minimal requirement and the additional requirements. All the points which come under minimal requirements and additional requirements has to be added. And also please draw the diagram explaining the parts of the articulator. Moving to the third question, describe the dentinogenic concept of anterior teeth selection for complete denture. Mention the various factors that control the selection of anterior teeth. So for here you have to refer chapter 9, page number 152. So for the first part of the question, you have to write what is dentogenic concept, where you have to write about the SPA concept, that is sex, personality and age. And then for the factors that control the selection of anterior teeth, you have to write about the size, form and color. Under size, there are six main headings. What all comes under those headings, you have to include at least two to three lines. And then comes the form. Under form, there are three subheadings. That is the dendrogenic concept, form and contour of face, pre-extraction records. Write about two to three lines about each of them. And then third factor is color. Under color, again comes, again you have to write what is color define the color uh, and then write about the three dimensions then you have to write about the factors like age sex pre-extraction records color of hair eye skin and also mention about the squint test that is how do we select the color and draw the necessary uh, diagrams for this next question is define centric relation classify different methods of recording centric relation and explain any one of one method of recording centric relation so for this refer chapter 6 maxillo mandibular relationship uh, page number 122 so first you have to define what is cr always remember 
please write the GPT definition of um, if they are asking to write any definition please always write GPT definition so for CR they have given the GPT definition please write that then after once you write the uh, definition you have to uh, write to record the CR mandible must be ret in retrograde position so they have explained about the passive method and the active method so you have to write about the passive methods as well as the active methods uh, there are seven methods given under passive and three methods given under active you have to mention about all those and once you have written that you have to write about the methods to record CR so three main methods are there one is the static method second is the functional or chewing third is the graphic method so under static method comes the wax occlusal rims and interocclusal check records under functional comes needle house Patterson and Mayer's method and then graphic method gothic arch tracing and pantographic tracing so in gothic arch tracing you can write about the concept then who gave the concept con components then advantage disadvantages and contraindication whereas uh, pantographic tracing you can write what is pantographic tracing and then what is pantograph and also add the necessary diagrams then uh, define immediate complete denture describe in detail the indication contraindication advantage disadvantage and the procedures so for this refer chapter 17 immediate dentures page number 245 so first you have to define uh, uh, what is immediate complete denture and then mention the types of immediate dentures that is the convention type and the interim uh, immediate denture and then write about the advantages and disadvantages indication contraindication then you have to explain the procedure uh, about the conventional as well as about the interim immediate denture then you have to last me you have to write about the comparison between the conventional and interim immediate denture now next question is describe the various concepts of occlusion in complete denture prostodontics and define balanced occlusion and factors controlling it uh, the second part I have already discussed so coming to the first part that is describe the various concepts of occlusion so for this answer first you have to define what is occlusion and then you have to write about the requirements of the complete denture occlusion and then mention about the types of complete denture occlusion that is uh, the uh, balanced occlusion then the monoplane occlusion and the lingualized occlusion write two to three lines or four to five lines about it and then you have to move on to the second part of the question draw necessary diagrams for this explain anatomical landmarks and their biological consideration for maxillary and mandibular impression making so for this refer chapter 4 impressions and cast in rangarajan page number 43 so under maxilla you have to mention about the supporting structure limiting structure relief areas stress bearing areas for both maxilla and mandible you have to write all these headings and you have to explain about each subheadings also then what is retention describe in detail about factors affecting retention in complete denture refer chapter 4 page number 36 first you have to write what is retention and then you have to mention about the factors affecting retention there are five factors that has been mentioned in the textbook write about all of them now moving on to the short essays the first question is define and classify facebo uh, so here first you have to write what is facebo then you have to write about the parts of the facebo and then classify the facebo that is into arbitrary and kinematic you have to write a few lines about it then define vertical jaw relation discuss the effect of altered vertical dimension in complete denture patient so for this you have to refer the chapter maxillo mandibular relations page number 115 first define vr then classify vr and then write about the effects what happens if vr is increased or vr is decreased then third question define vertical jaw relation discuss the methods of recording vertical jaw relation first define vr classify vr and then write the methods of determining vertical dimension at rest and then vertical dimension at occlusion 
so vertical dimensional dress there is uh, facial measurements that is swallowing tactile sense phonetics and facial expression and then for the measurement of anatomic landmarks uh, we use willis guide so mention about that and then methods of determining vertical dimensional occlusion physiologic methods are there five methods are there first is the misvonger method then swallowing threshold then phonetics neuromuscular perception and then aesthetics then coming to the mechanical methods three methods are there that is the ridge relationship pre extraction records and measurement of former dentures but define stability and discuss the various factors affecting stability for this you can refer chapter 4 page number 39 so first define what is stability and mention about the six factors coming under it define impression in complete denture and discuss the selective pressure impression theory so for this you have to refer chapter 4 page number 41 first define what is an impression that is given in page number 35 and then mention the three theories of impression making that is the mucostatic or the minimal pressure theory then the muco compressive technique or the pressure impression technique and then the third one that is the selective pressure impression theory then you have to write the detail about the selective pressure theory question 6 that is define occlusion describe in detail about lingualized occlusion so first define what is occlusion and then write about the three types of occlusion in cd and then write in detail about the lingualized occlusion for lingualized occlusion you can write first define what is lingualized occlusion give a small description about it and then write the advantages and disadvantages everything is given in page number 151 then define jaw relation describe in detail the methods of recording vertical jaw relation it is already discussed then define residual ridge resorption explain the factors affecting so for this chapter 1 you have to refer page number 3 first define what is rrr give a classification for residual ridge resorption given by atwood and then write the three factors that is the anatomic factors metabolic factors and the mechanical factors and also mention the consequences of residual ridge resorption next question is define posterior palatal seal and explain the methods of recording posterior palatal seal so for this first you have to define what is pps and then you have to write about the vibrating line and then you have to uh, write two methods of recording pps first is the scraping of cast and second is the impression technique explain about uh, functional and arbitrary under scraping of cast and use of fluid wax and low fusing compound under impression technique then the jaw relation in complete denture uh, you have to refer chapter 6 maxillomandibular relations page number 107 first define what is jaw relation and then you have to write about orientation jaw relation vertical jaw relation and horizontal jaw relation mention about each of them and write different methods of recording each type of jaw relation then phonetics in complete denture refer chapter 11 trine page number 190 first you have to write what uh, the sounds evaluated that is given in page number 10 190 and then also mention about the closest speaking space which is given in page number 117 of rangrajan so that's all for today we'll get back to you tomorrow with the second part of the complete denture thank you so much